Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Pinky, and I'm here in Shreveport with Big Sack. Big Sack, the rapper, the artist. You're doing big things out here in Shreveport. Tell us how long you've been in Shreveport. Born and raised. Born and raised Shreveport, north side on Cooper Road. On Cooper Road. <laughs> Cooper Road. Yeah. What goes down on Cooper Road? So everything. It's the kind of place everybody can't go. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, that's what it is, you know, we buy it. Cooper Road is a cool place, you know, predominantly black neighborhood, one of the biggest uh, in the nation, you know, just predominantly black, just, you know, just a nice area. Okay. If, if, if you come from there, you want to look at it different. It'd be a lot of stigma put on it, but it's really not. It ain't that bad. So, how long you been rapping? Rapping for a while. Uh, started rapping in my teenage years. Uh, put out my first single. I was like, I was like 20, something like this. Uh, you know, I've been rapping for a nice while. Uh, music like therapy now for me. So I just, yeah, it's like therapy because it is where I've been at. You know, like everybody usually had their own thing. You might want to ride and smoke a blunt, get to clear your mind. I would rather go to the studio. Or I'd rather sit there and listen to the instruments and write. It's, it's therapy. Okay, you just dropped an album. Tell us about that. Tell us about what it's called. Dropped an album called Super Solid. Super Solid. I, was, I thought it was Super Solid. Super Solid. Super Solid. What is that about? It's just... It's, it's, all my music is kind of it's more reality, like life based. So everything in it is is actual, factual. It's just reality rap, you know, super solid. I like that reality rap. Yeah, I've always been a solid guy, so it really resonates with me. Anybody knows me, like I kind of stand on my word. I'm kind of if I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. You know, I've been a good friend. You know, I, I've always stayed solid. So. And that's also the name of my record label. Really? So are you the owner of the record label? Yes, Super Solid in the Tank. All my music that's on all the platforms. You own all your masters and all um, that? Everything. Okay. Why Smooth? I see that. A lot of people don't really, you know, know how to tap in and own their own songs or even understand how the streaming world goes with that. So it's impressive that you, you know, got to that point. Could you tell us, like, how did you get to that point? It's just being, for me, just being dedicated to my craft. You know what I'm saying? Um, everything that I put together, I, I, I've never had a manager. Um, I do a lot of stuff on my own. You know, um, I have people that help me, you know, but I've always been, you know, a person that wanted to have his own. So once I realized and Especially easy, it's, it's a lot easier now, and artists need to realize that that it's a lot easier now with the platforms that we have. I mean, to go fill out for you LLC to get your own publishing, to ask out BMI, that ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? If, if you can read, comprehend, and understand, you can do that on your own. <laughs> you know, so I've always had my own publishing, um, my own writer's royalties to ask out. I've, I've had that since. I had that when I was a teenager, you know what I'm saying? And that was just off me wanting to know. So I looked it up, I went researched it, and I filled out the paperwork, and by the time I started rapping, I had I already had, I was already registered with ASCAP. So I've always focused on, on that. So once so I got my label, I just started dropping all my music into my own label, you know. Do you have other artists up under your label? No, I'm the only one. Uh, I got a son that rap, but, uh, I'm just letting him find his own way. How old is his son? My son that raps. Yeah. He's 16. Yeah, he's definitely finding his way in the world. Yeah, yeah. He, find, he finds his own way. Um, I put out a CD for him when he was 13. So he actually started, you know, early. So and he enjoys the rap. Yeah, he enjoys it. Um, like I said, I got him a studio set up. He, he does his own thing. That's why I say he's finding his way. So. That's because it's sort of like Master P in this whole game, you know, spreading the business and your wealth to your family. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, ain't nothing, I don't think there's nothing wrong with a little nepotism. You know, I can, 
I can let him do that if, you know, if that's what he want to do. I don't encourage it, but he picked up the talent and he has a knack for it, so I just let him do it, you know. And it's not the only thing he sticks to. You know, he got, he's smarter than a lot of other areas, but I gave him opportunities. Like I said, I got him his own little studio set up, so if he want to work with his music, got it in his hand. Very cool of you as a parent to listen to a lot of parents are just like, nah, you just go to school, get a job, yeah. figure it out. Yeah, but I mean, he works, he got a job and everything, but he still works. You know, even at that age, he got a job. But, you know, that's something he wanted to do too. I didn't force him to do that. His mama didn't force him to do that. He wanted to go make his own money, you know. Singing in the family, running in the family. Yeah. Um, so I just saw you did an interview or you were on um, K45 on Sirius Radio. Can you tell us like how was that experience for you to be on Sirius you know, Radio? It was a great experience, uh, especially with me. I'm a big fan of hip hop. I've always been um, Sway. He had me on there um, on a segment they got called Get in the Game. And um, I've always looked at Sway as a good curator and a good, you know, pillar in the hip hop community, um, along with Heather B, um, his co-host, and um, Tracy G. I listen to them every morning, so for them to have me on there, it was just a, it was, it was just a real humbling experience. And for, from the feedback that I got from them, as well as the people that call in, which Sway call those people citizens. Um, citizens of the Sway in the Morning Show, like the feedback that I got back was phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? I just, it was just a real humbling experience. You know, it was, it was dope. It, it was dope. Can't too many people from this area say that they was on the Sway in the Morning. No, for real. Like, not a lot of people, especially artists, who are doing it on their own with no major label backing or any of that, you know, to say the same that. So, kudos to you on that. For sure. Yeah, exactly. But um, would you ever, you know, consider getting back in from a major label or like trying to deal with the label, a major label, um, versus being independent? I wouldn't mind doing a partnership. You know, um, partnership is always cool. I mean, because that gives me leverage to do with what I feel like I want to do for myself. I don't feel like I'm at a point. I'm at a point now where I don't feel like I don't just need the control. Um, I don't want the control um, because the game is so structured now where you got a pretty good buzz, you can make some noise independently. The major label is, is just going to put you on a bigger scale. It's going to give you that budget, that money that you need. You may have to grind a little bit harder on the independent scale, but I mean, you know, the, uh, the way the game structured, you can really, you know, make a nice little leeway and make, you know, some noise on your own. But I would rather a partnership than just an actual key, you know, um, and that's partnering with me and my label. Give me some distribution, you know, something like that, you know. Okay. I see, I see. Um, have you done any shows outside of the Houston area or anything like that? Yeah, I haven't done any shows lately. Oh, um, not since a couple months ago. Uh, but, I mean, you know, that's, 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 that's just, that'd be just a hit and miss. You know, I, I've never been a, a big, it's been like the past years, I've never been a big show person. Um, I just put the music out. I saw your music videos, like a snip of it, and it was really, you know, it caught my attention and it, it kept my attention. You know, it's, it's two different things to catch your attention and keep it, but your, the snippet that I saw in your music video, it, it definitely caught my attention and kept it. Um, I think you got a good, you know, presence in person or visually that people would love to see more of. I mean, I'm here. I mean, you know, like I say, I, I and I kind of fault myself for that because I ain't never really had a manager. So a lot of things that I do, I do it on my own. Sometimes, I, I slack and book a show, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I do, yeah, I slack and book a show, but, I mean, you know. If they call you, they call you, huh? They call, they call, and I'm there, you know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes, like I say, I, I, I step out and book some shit on my own, but I just, I just be slacking on, you know, that's, that's, that's at my fault, you know? Because I have a lot of other shit going on than just from here, you know what I'm saying? So, like? 
just like you know what I'm saying. So what's your goals with this rap career? Like where I'm at now, like honestly and truly, like music is therapy. I do a lot of it for the love, you know. Um, at one point, I was grinding hard, grinding hard, grinding hard, grinding hard, just trying to get that deal, just trying to secure that deal. Um, a lot of shit in my life happened that pulled me away from the music. So once I put the energy back into the music, um, I was a little older and I had a lot more responsibilities around me to where I could just, just go out and do a lot of the shit that I was doing at first. So, that's when the platforms came along the way that they are. And I realized I could do with just a lot of shit on my own. So my goal is always to put out great quality music. And just really what comes of it comes of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not grinding, 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 trying to find that deal no more. Right. Because I can do a lot of it on the own. It's got a different meaning for you. Yeah, it's just got a different. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a whole different trajectory. Um, and like I say, if if, if if a deal presents itself, I would rather a partnership or something of that nature. Because I actually have some cats that I know that are real dope, and I would want to help them. But I don't want to help them, and I'm not in a position to help them. If, if, if I got presented with a deal, a budget, or something, well, I'm definitely going to bring them in because I don't. I don't, I make the point where I don't just want to be the star. I'm going to do what I do anyway, because like I say, it's therapy for me. So I'm always getting there and create and, and put out music, put out videos, because that's, that's accessible to me. You see what I'm saying? I definitely do. And it makes perfect sense. I just want to ask, if you could describe your music to someone who hasn't heard anything from you, who you know, just looking at this, what would you describe your music to them? Just reality, though. Reality. Just reality. It's real life. You know, it's just raw and uncut. It's, I'm going to give it to you straight and narrow. I don't make a lot of club music. Um, I have a few club songs. It's just more relaxed. It's, it's just more reality and just, just laid back. You know what I'm saying? Um, some energy and... and in a few songs, you know what I'm saying? In some songs, I have I have a I have a diverse activity about myself, but majority of the time, you just gonna get the wrong truth. You just gonna get the wrong truth. Uh, that's just the truth. That's just the nature of it. I also got a I got a radio show that I do on um it's on the Mixler app. It's called Good Vibes Radio, and it's on eighty one point four. The heat, um, which is based off my clothing line. This is my brand, Good Vibes on the GBO. What does that mean, Good Vibes on? Good Vibes on is just what it says. Like. You okay. know what I'm saying? And I got a song by the same title, me and um, Jeter Jones. He real hot in the uh, Southern Soul brand. Jeter Jones. Jeter Jones. Jeter, not Jeter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you know, you can look him up. He's real hot in the Southern Soul. Matter of fact, he's the top Southern Soul artist at this, at this point. Uh, you know, I got a lot of other stuff in my pot, you know. You got a lot of different brands going. You got the clothing line, you got the radio show, you got your music, you know, and life. How do you juggle all of these different, you know, brands and businesses that you're running? That's a hell of a question. Honestly, I don't know. I guess just the power of the most high. You know, keep me healthy, keep me alive, and just keep me focused. You know, um, along with being a father, I work, I drive trucks. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just along with all that, I mean, just just the power the most high, you know, just, just continuously grinding, you know what I'm saying, just trying to make it happen, you know, either either which way, you know, you you want to try to have, you want to try to have multiple streams of income anyway, you know, and if I don't, if I don't turn to stuff like what I'm doing, I'll probably be headed towards the streets, and that's the route I don't want to go, so I try to 
keep some things in the pocket. Yeah, you, so you don't stay yeah. idle. Yeah, you know, I try my hands stuff. Everything, everything doesn't always hit. You know what I'm saying? If I fail, I, I keep pushing to try to find something else. But as I mean, long as I'm away from that element. What, what do you have coming out, you know, in the future? Like, what can we expect to see from you coming up? I got a project getting mixed right now. I have no idea what I'm calling it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got music. Uh, put out music and I'm just trying to really build my radio show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I really... I really feel strong about it. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Is it like on the internet or it's like a it's, station? It's an internet station. It's an internet station, station right now. So people can tune in by going to a website. Yeah, yeah. I, I share the links on my on my uh, on my Facebook, on my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is uh, at Sack the Great. S a c c g r e a t. I mean S a c c d a g r e a t. Sack the Great. Where did that even come from? Zach the Great. Yeah. My nickname coming up was J Dub and Dub Sack. It was a guy that was rapping at the time called this cell. His name was E Dub, but he also called this cell Dub Sack. So I changed my name to Big Sack to differentiate between us. And people just would drop the big and just call me Sack. You know, so. When I did my social platform, when I did my Instagram, I just called it Sack the Great because I feel like I'm great. I'm great. I'm a, I'm a god. You know what I'm saying? So, so, like I say, uh, my radio show, I share the link on my Instagram, on my Facebook, uh, on my Twitter, all my social media accounts. And, uh, and all of them, the majority are the handle is Sack the Great. Or you can just Google Sack. And it'll come up. If you could give someone starting out in this business brand any advice, what tips would you give them? Man, just stay down. Just stay down until you come up. Uh, don't let nobody deter you off of your dream. Um, just stay focused, stay dedicated to your crowd. Um, and Keep faith in the good Lord. Keep faith in the Most High. Because what what others may not what others may look at and may feel like may not be successful for you. But if you see that vision, it may just be for you. You just gotta keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let the naysayers push you off your path. You know? What makes that sack it's a lot of things. Um, my character, my uh, my drive, my knowledge, my determination, my ambition, uh, my knowledge of self, uh, my self-will and determination, my perseverance, my patience. So it's a lot balled up into this one person, you know. Um, a lot of a lot of emotions, a lot of trauma, a lot of growth, a lot of uh, a lot of mental imbalance. But I keep my sanity. Through all of that, I, I try to find a way to keep my sanity through all of that. It's definitely important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I also have a song called Dear Sanity. Let me check it out. Check it out. Yeah. But like I say, that's 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 it. That's Sack in a nutshell, man. And like I say, man, y'all can follow me at S A C C D A G R E A T on I G. Um Shit, all of them is pretty much Sack the Great. You can just Google me. Just Google Big Sack. B I G B I G S A C C. <laughs> and I'll pop up on our platforms, man. Y'all fuck with the Straight music. Out of Shreveport. Shreveport, Louisiana. And I appreciate you, Pinkett, for having me on the platform. I appreciate Much you love from Shreveport to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? And it's all good. 
man, I just want to shout out the whole city, man. Shreveport to Dallas. I know some people in Dallas. I got, you know, a bunch of partners out there, family out there, my son out there. Um, both of my sons out there. Got a fat club. This shit, everybody, man, everybody that stand down, grinding, doing your thing, man, all the entrepreneurs, all the grinders, just, man, stay down, do your thing, man, keep pushing. Peace.